And I, I would like uh, now to invite uh, Madame Francine Charbonneau to join us. Um, she is the Quebec's Minister in the Ministère de la Famille responsible for seniors and anti-bullying. I invite her to take the podium. Bonjour. Merci, uh, merci de l'invitation. And don't worry, I can speak English. We <laughs> 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 have to start with bonjour. Yeah. Because it's the trade, you know. And if we don't, somebody's going to say something. What you said, what you give, is almost uh, multiplied by what you get. It's true. But I'm not here to talk about volunteer. I'm talking, I'm going to talk to you about your government. So my name is Francine Chabonneau. Madame, je vous avais parlé. Bonjour. <laughs> I want to say a special hello to Ruth Petit because she's the one, she was the first person who came to me and said, you know what? We have a community, an English community, and we have elderly people. We have to talk. And we did. So we met in Laval, and I think we met one time in Quebec, I'm not sure, you came, right? And, and we met again, so it was a pleasure. <coughs> it was a pleasure to be, uh, I'm gonna, you're gonna, excuse me, to switch once in a while in a French word, right? Eh? Yes, thank you. <laughs> so I was sensibilisé to the fact that, <laughs> Sensitize. It sounds like something you put a push push on. <laughs> 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 sanitize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was sanitized. <laughs> 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 well, I know that you worked hard and seriously to make sure that people talk to each other. Not only volunteers, but organization to make sure that people talk to each other. Especially, I saw the, the small book. I'm at the last page. Very important. But I'm the most important. Yes. Anyways, the picture is so out of date that don't even look at it. <laughs> but I saw that you have Le Petit Frère. And Le Petit Frère for me is a, a, an organization that's very important because they talk about elderly and isolation and being alone. And, and when we ask each other, like, what makes a person be alone? It, and it, it's a multiplier of things. We talked about. The, the money, I mean, if they have money, I have poor, if they have a lack of something, but it's also a death of something, of someone. Uh, uh, the environment changes, and, and we have to make sure that we look for at each other and for each other to, for the communication. Being alone is a sickness that cannot be treated without another person. The best pill for a, a person that is alone is another person. It's not a medication. Sometimes it's a glass of water, but shared with somebody else. And uh, automatically, I'm not alone anymore. Automatically, I can share my history. I can share my day. I can say, hi, how are you? And all of a sudden, my day just changed. Sometimes, it's a, it, what we call in French, la popa roulante. You get a meal, you get a smile, you get a, I need 250 for that lunch. <laughs> but you have a communication, and you have someone coming into your house and looking at closely to what's going on, and then leaving and can say, lift up a, a, a flag to say to someone, there's something going on in that house, you have to go see. So we, we forget that uh, being isolated is something that's very uh, damageable. But we have to take care of it. As a government, we put on what we call an outreach program. In French, we call them les itmaves, mm -hmm. initiatives de travail en milieu, euh, de milieu euh, pour aînés <coughs> vulnérables. You won't get it in English. <coughs> but what it says, it's an outreach uh, is to support the recruitment of outreach worker tasks with helping senior who are or may be or may become vulnerable. When I came in in 2014, uh, the government estimated that we had 42 of them. Right now, we're up to 124. What it is, is a person that is attached to an art, uh, a community organization, and they find the elderly that are alone. 
stage. They do the work. They do the math. They talk to maybe they talk to you, and you say, you know what, Madame Comrie was here last week. She's not here anymore. We have to take care of this. Where is she? They go through her house. They see what's going on. They give her help. They give her the motion to come back into the community and make sure that she is not left alone. That famous. That famous phrase that we say when we want quietness, when we leave me alone, when we're an elderly, that's something we don't want to hear. We have to respect it, but sometimes we have to go over it and talk to them. Just say hi. Last March, to ensure the con continuation, I'm going to read right now, so it, I, I feel very boring when I read, so just try to keep awake. Lunch is coming, lunch is coming, don't worry. So last March, to ensure the continuation of this extremely valuable from form of assistance for vulnerable seniors, Quebec Economic Plan included the amount of 11 million over the next two years to support existing outreach initiative, along with the amount of $5.5 million over four years for 30 new outreach initiatives. Every time we do that, it's $45,000 that put in, is put in within um, an organization to make sure that they get someone to work what I call the streets. They call, they go, they speak to each other. You can even have access to one of them to make sure that you have somebody else doing the promotion to get your volunteers. Most of the time they're attached to what we call Ensemble de Nivelleurs de Québec. So you have some in Montreal, you have some about everywhere. But sometimes they're attached to different whole of organization. So the most important part of this notion is to make sure that we find them, we talk to them, and we include the elderly again into the community. One of the things that I realized within being the, the Minister of the Elderly is we talk of the 10%. The 10% of the elderly that needs something within the country. But every time I get my head up and I look, I notice the 85%. The 85%, and I don't want to be rude, but some of you are the 85%, is the people being in action, in action, being volunteer, being uh, everywhere, reading to kids, uh, accompanying elderly people. I even did one day, Papa Poulain put someone who was 72 years old telling me, Come on, let's go see the old people. We're going to give them lunch. <laughs> he didn't see himself as an elderly person. He saw himself like a volunteer, like someone on the work, someone who was being creative and participating. That's what we have to be. And actually, as a government, I want to hear you. I want to know that you need stuff to keep you being active in the community. We're making sure that the community works fine because you're there. I have in this room partners that are over 50 and are making sure that the elderly are being heard. I'm going to share with you four specific forms of action that the government made, and then I will thank you and go sit. <laughs> so the first additional support that will make will be made by the, the the budget because you know when we do a budget you know the circuit we deposit it then it goes into action within the government and then we adopt it so we have to go through at least three to four weeks before we adopt it so right now I have to tell you that we deposit it so we will do something it's not done yet because we have to make sure it's adopted by the La Chambre l'Assemblée Nationale. So the first additional support will be made available to family caregivers and to the people who help them is 103 million has been set aside to enhance the refundable tax credit for family caregivers taking care of adult relatives and the refund tax credit for volunteer respect respected services caregivers. Caregivers are a part of our community, and sometimes we don't even know it. Our first problem with caregivers is making them say they're a caregiver. Because sometimes they say, I'm not a caregiver, I'm a wife. 
Mm-hmm. I'm not a caregiver. I'm her husband. I'm her son. I'm her daughter. So I'm not a caregiver. First thing we have to do is shake those people and say, hey, you're a caregiver. You can get something. You're giving so much, you can get something. And the government wants to take care of those people, either within the loi de Dominique Vien sur les normes du travail, where we identify the caregiver and we say you can get something <coughs> within your job. First of all, you can get respect from your employee, and then you can get days off and you can get recognized. But second of all, you have to notice that you are a caregiver. You have to make sure that you recognize yourself as one. The government has to do more, but the first step given right now is a very good step. Before, you had to be 70 and live with the person. Now, you have to be recognized as a caregiver. That's it. So let's make sure we go further, but it's a very good step. Second of all, tax assistance for the purchase of a rental of equipment to help seniors to continue to live independently at home has also been enhanced. An amount of 6.3 million has been set aside by the government for the proposal of 18, 2018, 2019. Why? Because some elderly people that are not in condition to pay themselves a cane, in Marchette, sorry, Walker. 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 Thank you. A Walker. A Cadet Portal. But but most of people don't get them because they think they're very expensive. Now you can have money to make sure that you can uh um, get around. So you can move around. Because if you're stuck in your house not only you can be very lonely, but you're not going to the Bibliotheca you're not going to do your small little shopping things, and sometimes you can do it on your own. Thirdly, intergenerational, intergenerational cohabitation will also be encouraged in future grandparents who elect to house adult grandchildren during their study will still be able to claim the tax credit for people living alone. It, it, sounds, it sounds for us in Montreal something maybe a bit awkward, but when you're in the region and your grandson who lives in Montreal wants to go to the Cégep de Rimouski or the Université de Trois-Rivières, and you bring him to your home, the government used to cut because you're not living alone anymore. So now we, we decided that I think it would be a nice thing to recognize the help of a grandparent to help his grandchildren and make sure that we don't cut that part. So that part will be uh, uh, for the boarding to eligible criteria for this measure. The government has been able to provide tax relief totally about $2 million and for the five next year, it looks like about $10 million. Naturally, I kept the, the, the melting pot for the end. A number of other investments, so that's my melting pot. A number of other <coughs> investments will also take place under 218-223 with the plan d'action of the government policy of active aging, which will be launching very soon, I would say about next month. We call it in French, vivre et vieillir chez soi dans sa communauté. VVE for the abbreviation, because you know, us, government, we love abbreviation. <laughs> so, but it's a policy that makes sure that when an elderly person wants to live at home as long as possible, as a government, we put on different facts that makes them stay at home. So there is, um, there is a, a, the fact that we can make the, let's say the bathroom is uh, aménagé for someone who has a problem. We make sure that they can get the service from the hospital or they can go to the hospital and get the service. We can, so making sure that the environment responds to the elderly makes them choose. And that is the highest point. Maybe I choose to go in an apartment. Maybe I choose to go to Riz Dan Soleil if I want to. But it's my choice. So if I want to stay home, and live at home, as a government, we're putting in place different measures to make sure that they can do it. And that is the most important thing. Losing choices is something that is very 
um, very bad, whatever the range is. As a government, what we want, we want people to have choices. It says in closing. In closing, I would like to thank you as a member of the Senior Action of Quebec. Thank you for the invitation, Ruth. It's always a pleasure. And we haven't seen each other for a little while. Even though I have two persons very, I would say three, cheering. I have two in the, at, around the table, uh, la, la table du ministre. And I have Mr. Kelly, uh, who uh, lifts his hand. And now I have Kathleen, which is my yeah. first buddy, because she has a secretariat for la, la communauté mm -hmm. anglophone. And every time we talk of a subject, and I lift my hand up to say, you know, remember, there's oublie pas les personnes any in that policy or in that règlement. And I have Kathleen that lifts up her hand and says, yeah, Hassan is right, and there's the English community of elderly. So I, I have more buddies talking about the elderly, which is very good for me, because as a government, all of us have a um, bafon pèlerin. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and we each talk of our ministry. Mm -hmm. So I have anti-bullying, bullying, and I have the elderly. And every time someone projects to do something, they know they're going to get a couple of hands up, and one of those hands is mine. So I'm, I'm as a member of the provincial non-government partner community, that is you, uh, to set up with the Secretariat des Aînés du Ministère de la Famille uh, is a very important part of our partnership. We have to talk to each other. We have to make sure that this doesn't go away. Every time I, I get to have the mic, I always finish the same way. I'm not very original. I always say two things. First of all, never underestimate a smile. They don't cost anything, and they give energy. So never underestimate a smile. Second of all, never underestimate what you can do in your community. But you have to think of the first syndrome every morning. And that's, I always say, how many people took a, already took the plane? Combien de gens ont déjà pris l'avion? Almost everybody took a plane one day. And you get that speech that we don't listen anymore. You know? Bathroom. No, not never that way. Always that way. And then you can get out. There's the door down there, the door down there. And all of a sudden, they say something very important. They say, if ever we go within a zone that's very bad, and the plane starts to do this, well, they don't say it like that, but I like to say it like that. The plane starts to go rumble, and, and then you get a mask going down. The mask d'oxygène. Just saying it tells you what it does. They say, put it on. And you know what they remind you? They say, put it on first. Don't put it on the kid. Don't put it on your grandma. Put it on first. Because if you put it on first, you'll be the first one to be able to help the other. So before I go and sit, remember this. Every time you want to help, every time you include yourself in something, don't forget to put the mask first. Mm -hmm. Because if you fall, you'll never be able to help. So take care of each other, but take care of yourself to make sure you can take care of others. Within that, thank you for your attention.